This video will demonstrate how to assemble the 470136-2T model. These are some of the tools that you will need. Some pliers, wire strippers, screwdrivers. The product comes in several boxes. First, we're going to thread the wire through part four and then attach it to the base. The threads will twist inside one another and then you can tighten the side screws to lock the connection. As you can see, that's a Phillips screwdriver that will be needed. Next, we'll get the middle tier. And thread the wire through the middle of it. You can twist the middle section around to tighten it onto the pipe below it. Next, of course, tighten the anchoring screws on the side. Pipe number three, funnel the wiring through that. And twist the pipe three into the top part of the middle section. There's replacing a rubber grommet that you'll see when you're working with the parts. Tighten the side screws. The top crown, we have to do an extra step, and that will be to detach the light socket from the body of it. And through that socket, central tube, you put up the wiring. And we're gonna make the electrical connections to positives and neutral to the respective matching parts. Then we're doing a 
thread the wire through the side of the socket as you see that opening there. And the rest of the wires all the way through the funnel. And up through the top section. You can tighten part two onto the supporting pipe to secure that connection and then do the wiring. You could use the wire strippers to expose some of the filament of the wire to twist it together and use the electrical cap and electrical tape to secure that connection. We need to bundle all the wires together and have them fit underneath part three's body. Next, we'll thread the wires through the top loop and reattach it to the top of the chandelier. You could use a screwdriver to twist it around. Shutterstock music. At this point, you can hang the chandelier. The video will not show the actual electrical wiring. But at this point, you would want to check all the light sockets to see that everything's functioning properly. And then the last step would be to add the crystal dressing. We'll start with letter A. Attach it from one ring to the next tier. And there's letter B being attached to the bottom tier, to the middle tier. Attaching a letter C. Letter D would be a set of three crystal beads that go around the circumference at each of the tiers of the chandelier. another photo of the finished product. Please contact us if you have any additional questions. Thank you.